I've had a lot of questions on the, the limb fang, this here, and then the boa constrictor. Just I, I've done, I did a video for the boa constrictor on the bench, um, but that only paints kind of half the picture. So I wanted to get out here. I meant to get out here a lot sooner, um, just with with other things going on. Um, I do have a full time job outside of this, so I still have to pertain to that um, every day. And then two young kids, and then we've actually had a bunch of orders come through. Um, this last month has been really good, um, so I, I appreciate that. I just want to give a a shout out to you guys. You've been awesome. Um, definitely more than I was originally anticipating in a good way. So um, to get into it, this is this is our limb thing. Um, and comes with two and a half feet of paracord, which seems kind of short. But again, this is only meant for running off, you know, um, branches that come off the main trunk of the tree. Um, so it really I wanted to keep it where you don't have a bunch of loose hanging on, you know, or flying around. And you're not, you know, you're only util utilizing a quarter of it. So to start off, I just kind of want to give you guys a, a little close up here. You'll notice in the main body here that there's this contoured edge on here. Um, and that's by design. That's where there is kind of a, a, a trick to get this to sit on there, right? Um, and to get it nice and tight. Um, and we're utilizing this this contoured edge. Um, so for the guys that have used um, wild edge steps, it's kind of the same same principle where you're camming camming something over, and then you're you're causing it to to pull tight against the tree. Um, so for the guys that have ran those, this will be very familiar. You'll you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say, you know, you, you need to know how to tension it correctly to get it right. Um, so you you can't. It's not meant for you to pull it tight. There's some certain barks and certain trees that you can. You don't need to cam it over. You can just literally stick it on the tree, wrap your paracord around, and, and just pull as tight as you can. Um, but there's certain trees that you, you need to tension it over with with using this cam technique. Um, so just, just to get it on here. All you're doing is wrapping it around. Now, I should say, for me, being a, a right-handed shooter, I want this, this contoured edge to, to face down the tree. Um, face me and then the, the bow hook be shooting up the branch and then off to the right um, Again, if you're left-handed, obviously it's opposite but Once you once you do it once or twice, you'll you'll know which orientation that that makes sense and you know what you need So you're just wrapping around Pulling the paracord into the channel Again, you don't need to get this crazy tight because again you need to cam it over but Get get some get a good amount of tension on there. Um, again, don't be afraid to you know you're not going to wreck nothing by pulling it tight. So at that point, you're going to kind of twist and push at the same time this mount to get it to lock on there solid. And at that point, again, I can pull on there pretty good. What I'll do is I'll wrap wrap this loose end around. And I'm kind of a kind of a freak when it comes to uh, loose loose ends dangling stuff like that. I'm, I'd rather not have stuff dangling if it's windy out. It's just more more for a deer to see. Um, you know, at that point, you're hanging your bow. Again, it's it's quick. Um, it's very versatile. I, I don't remember the exact amount of degrees that that this bow hanger can swing each way off the top of my head i want to say it's like 40 45 or 40 degrees each way so it you can handle a pretty pretty steep tree again you can see how how steep this branch is running off the tree and it it hand, handles it just fine um, the hook will automatically adjust to the angle you don't need to set anything it's just it's free floating on a pin um, it hinges down to where it needs to sit at that point again this weighs just over an ounce so I'll kind of show you what I do or where, how I keep it stored. Um, just me personally, again, if you want to throw it in a backpack, your pocket, you won't even notice it's in there. It's so light. So make sure to take your bow off the tree <laughs> or off the hanger, I should say, before you untie it. Get your loose end, loosening the knob, flipping this up. There is enough resistance in here that this should stay up and kind of out of your way. So when you're you're putting this on and taking it off, it's not flopping across the, the opening for you. Um, what I'll actually do is 
I actually keep this on my bow. I put the hook down, down in here, and then I, I loop my paracord around my limb. That way, it's always I always have it on me. I don't have to worry about forgetting it. Um, it's a lot of times what happens with me. Um, again, hunting hunting public land and stuff is depending upon if I'm, if I'm sitting on the ground. Um, if I'm up in the tree, I'll, I'll bring a different backpack, different you know, different stuff. I'd rather keep this on my bow um, because I do use it on the ground actually almost more than I'd use it up in the tree. Um, it's kind of nice to just, you have a bush next to you, you can just throw this on the bush next to you and you've got somewhere to keep your bow where it's not across your lap or in the muck if you're in the swamp or something. Um, yeah, it's, I, I like to keep it on my bow. It's kind of the same, same premise as our milkweed pod. That's one thing that, again, I, I don't like forgetting this. This dead drives me nuts when I don't have milkweed. That's been a very big part of stuff for me the last seven, eight years is milkweed. So as soon as I got this, we also offer two other ones. I'm not going to talk about this too much, but it's this hanger is kind of the same way. If I can just keep this on my bow, I've always got my bow with me. Um, you don't have to worry about it. Switching backpacks if you run multiple packs for different occasions or, you know, whatever you're hunting. Um, again, small, light, um, compact, and should be able to keep it on you at all times. So, and uh, feel free to reach out and our, our lead times are... You know, uh, right now we're shipping next day, um, but if we get enough orders that randomly come in, you're looking at no more than a week at this point to get your stuff, um, which is really nice, especially with, you know, hunting season being being right around the corner here for most people. Um, yeah, um, again, appreciate you guys for all the support. Um, again, reach out if you have any questions.